my first project from a new place. I'm going to build some really simple small bathroom shelves out of these wooden boards. Now I stood in line for hours to get these, so it better be worth it. Boop. Let's get to it. So this is our bathroom where we need more storage. As you can tell it's rather small. You can see me measuring the existing elements like the mirror and sink where I will build my shelves around. I calculated the measurements based on the number of shelves I wanted and got this plan. Now the first pieces I'm going to cut are the four vertical supports. I'm using 18 by 35 mm pine for all the supports and brackets. I'm marking and cutting the pieces to length on the miter saw with an extra backing piece to prevent blowout on the wood. Now for the actual shelves I'm using 12 by 69 mm pine. Again measuring and cutting to length on the miter saw. As for the supporting brackets I still had some figuring out to do, but this is what I came up with. I'm going to cut the supports at 45 degrees and screw it in from the back so the screws won't be visible once the shelves installed. I'll use two of the flat pieces to build out the depth of the shelves. But because I want them to sit flush to the wall I'll have to notch out the corners on the back board. Like this. So let's start cutting a whole bunch of these small pieces. I made a stop block to make this go a lot easier. I used the same trick with the stop block for the supporting pieces. And that's all the supporting pieces cut. As for the planks I still have to notch out some corners, but this is pretty straightforward on the corners itself. I'm just using a rigid saw going in from two directions. So this is what the shelves will look like with the front board cut straight and the backboard notched out. Now I also need to make some notches in the middle of the boards where the middle two vertical supports will sit. Now I did this by cutting several grooves and then using a chisel to clear the material in between the grooves. But it works pretty well, don't you think? Alright, now that I got all my pieces cut, it's time for a change of scenery. So let's head on to my new place and put this thing together. Sending all the pieces, this is what the total package looks like. Since this shelf is going to hang in our bathroom, I want the wood to be water resistant. Therefore, I'm applying a couple of coats of clear varnish. It's time to assemble everything, and let's start with the brackets. I'm pre drilling the wood so it won't split and it also helps with the alignment of the pieces. I'm going back with a countersunk bit so the screws will sit flush. Now I just have to make a lot of these. So here you can see me assemble one of the smallest shells. I need two brackets and two boards. Aligning the front board with the top of the bracket, I used four screws to prevent the brackets from twisting. Then putting on the backboard where I aligned the notches to the end of the brackets. So this way I can screw the vertical supports right into the brackets. Now, other than the wooden boards, I found this brass tube, which I will use as a towel rack by clamping it in the brackets with a small extra piece. And just like this. I laid out all the pieces on the floor so I can get around and put this thing together in one go. Putting in several supports and screwing in the brackets from the back. Again pre-drilling everything with a countersunk drill bit. Just put the 
shelves outside real quick so I can get it into frame to show you what the final shelves look like. Now installing wasn't easy because of lack of space and I had to ask for some help to put this thing up. Luckily my girlfriend is locked up with me so she couldn't refuse to help. I hold up the shelves and she marked the holes on the walls. I then drilled out the holes and put plugs into the walls so the shelves would be properly secured. Then it's just a matter of screwing everything into place. So there you have it, a simple DIY shelves made to fit my bathroom. Now I know these exact dimensions are probably not useful for everyone, but I hope the way it's put together might be of inspiration. And as I'm editing this video, we've been using it for mm, a couple of weeks and it's very much proven its usefulness. It's also a mess right now. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw and are looking to waste some more time, please consider subscribing and watch some of my other videos where I build random stuff. I'd like that very much. Okay, love you, bye.